Hi crafters, Karen here and welcome to another video of the background stamps series. In today's video I will be using jelly plates to show you how uh, great you can make cards um, using a jelly plate with background stamps. So here are the products that I'll be using today. I have this 5x7 size uh, piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. I have a piece of the uh, Shimmer White cardstock uh, that I'll be, I'll be embossing, and I'll show you that embossing folder in just a moment. I also will be using this Happy Birthday Sentiment, and this is from the All Together Happy Occasions uh, stamp and die set from Tailored Expressions, and this came from the virtual stamp joy that I uh, took part in last month. And I had a bunch of these stamps uh, already uh, stamped and cut out. So I just went into my stash and I pulled out the happy birthday. For one of the background stamps, uh, I will be using the knock on wood background. Uh, I also used this in the uh, virtual stamp joy. And for the other background stamp, I will be using this Jungle Leaves, and this is from Hero Arts. And for my embossing folder, I will be using the Stampin' Up uh, Bricks and Mortar uh, 3D embossing folder, and that's that I will be using on that shimmer that I showed you uh, just a few minutes ago. So I have my jelly plate, I have my roller, I also have these uh, gems that I will be using. Those are also from Taylor Expressions. And my oxides today are, is the Rustic Wilderness and the Pine Needles. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. First, I'm going to do some embossing. So I bring in my embossing folder and I want the debossed side. So I need to make sure that my shimmer paper is placed the correct way because only one side of that cardstock is shimmery. So I put it the shimmer side face down and then I do the embossing off screen and you can see uh, the finished look. So that's the embossed side, which I won't be using. And here is that debossed side. So now that I have that embossed, I will set that to the side and we will go ahead and bring in the jelly plate and we will start creating uh, the background. So this is a five by seven jelly plate and I got this at Michael's uh, with my reward points. I don't know if you are reward members at all. Uh, and I really, I, I pretty much got this for free. Uh, so with those uh, free points, um, all those points that add up, um, I, you know, I, I had $5 and uh, so I was able to get this uh, really for nothing. So you saw that I put the ink on the jelly plate and I rolled it out with my roller and then I put the knock on wood background stamp onto the jelly plate. Then I take my cardstock and I rub that on the jelly plate and you can see uh, that impression on the cardstock. So now I take the darker green, my pine needles, and I do the same thing. I place the ink on the jelly on the jelly plate and then I use my roller to roll that on there and make sure it's covering that whole plate. I bring in my jungle leaves uh, background stamp and I do the same thing. I apply some pressure and I get that impression onto the jelly plate. You can see a little bit of it up close and then I put my uh, card, the same cardstock back onto the jelly plate and then I peel it off and you get this really cool impression. So you can see both the wood grain on there with the jungle leaves. And I just think this look is really, really cool. Now off screen, I did go ahead and I trimmed that down and I cut it down to four by five and a quarter. And I did forget to show you that I was gonna be using my oval dies uh, today. And I cut out that oval from the center of that piece of um, the background. So uh, I will show you uh, what I do with that other piece, that frame piece, uh, later on. Um, I did do something with that off screen and you'll see the finished product uh, at the end. So now it's time to 
assemble my card. So I bring in my card base, I bring in my embossed piece, and now I'm just going to layer this onto the card base. Once I have that layered, I take my oval piece and I pretty much do the same thing. And my ATG gun works great for this. I'm just layering that onto the brick. I feel that the brick uh, is a nice background uh, for this image. And now that I have all that applied to my card base, I'm going to bring in my sentiments and I'm going to use some foam tape because I want this popped up. So I do have some foam strips, which are from scrapbook.com. And then I have these small circular uh, adhesive pieces that I got from Joann's. So I'm just layering the circle ones on the back of the word happy. And you see that I have my Barely Arts glue there. And I want to make sure that, uh, that you know, this is going to stay put on the card. So usually what I'll do is, is I'll bring in my uh, wet adhesive and I'll add a little bit of glue uh, to those dots uh, just to uh, secure those sentiments. I'd hate for those to you know, pop off. Sometimes um, those uh, foam tapes uh, aren't, the, aren't, aren't as strong as other adhesives. Although the, the ones from scrapbook.com work pretty well. So I probably didn't have to use the glue on that. But what I did with one, I did to the other. And then finally, I add those uh, enamel dots at the end. And that is the finished card. Now here's the other card that I was telling you about that I did off screen. So I did take that frame and I added that on there and then I used the same Jungle Leaves background stamp and I just stamped it on a piece of white cardstock and then I brought in my Thinking of You sentiment uh, die, die set from Hero Arts and I ink blended that uh, using the Rustic Wilderness and I did uh, cut out multiple layers to give it that stacked look. And these are the finished cards uh, for today. I hope that this has inspired you to use some of your background stamps. And until my next video, friends, I hope your day is a crafty day. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.